this video will show you both the 4060 series and 6060 series of DPA core microphones and what some of the differences are between the two microphone series. Both microphones have core technology by DPA which is IP58 certified. What does core technology mean? To a point, minimalizes distortion and expands dynamic range significantly. If you want to learn more about core by DPA, I'll leave a link in the description which will take you to the DPA website. Let's start by looking at the 4060 series of microphones, which are roughly 5mm in diameter. They have an omnidirectional polar pattern and are greatly resistant to humidity and sweat. They also have removable boost grid caps. Most microphones in the 4060 series come with two boost grid caps. The pre-fitted soft boost cap, which gives 3dB soft boost at 8-20kHz. The other boost grid cap introduces 10 dB soft boost around 12 kHz. Both of these grid caps have tough scratch resistant surface that can be detached from the microphone and cleaned separately to the microphone. I'll now show you a rough breakdown of microphones in the 4060 series by their specification. You can pause the video now if you need longer to read this. You also have the 406060 and the 406061, which are more robust, heavy duty versions of the microphones they're based on. Next is the 6060 series, which are roughly 3mm in diameter. I'll show you them next to the 4060 series, so you can see the difference in size. They have an omnidirectional polar pound and are made of stainless steel and treated with PVD coating that makes it extremely durable to high temperatures and resilient against impacts and resistant to abrasions. The 6060 series comes with one pre-fitted grid cap which corresponds to the low boost grid cap of the 5mm version. I'll now show you a rough breakdown of microphones in the 6060 series by their specifications. You can pause the video now if you need longer to read this. Finally, both microphones have the same Kevlar reinforced cable relief, which is built to withstand twists, bends and pulls. They also both have microdot connectors, so you connect to a full range of microdot adapters. DPA have their own adapters, called DAD adapters. They have a full range, so you can connect to any wireless you need. This way, you don't need to re-terminate your microphone. Hopefully this video has helped show you the difference in these two microphone series. I'll leave links in the description so you can learn more about the microphones. If you have any questions about the DPA series, leave them in the comments below.